stop it. Oh, stop it, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody watching on YouTube. We are live. We are in the studio with the most amazing group of people. I would imagine you guys are all Sierra fans, yes? <laughs> well, we're going to bring her out. We're going to talk to her. We're going to check out some of the songs on this new album that has really been a long time coming. We've been waiting for it. Uh, we're going to check out the new video. You with all that? Yeah. I see you got wine. You can get me wine. <laughs> we're going to have a good time. We'll also maybe give a chance to question or two from you guys out here. So that'll be fun. All right, man. Let's get it. Princess Grammy Award winning singer-songwriter Sierra. <laughs> he said, you look oh, good. he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Some of them have wine. I want to know where the oh. wine is. <laughs> Are you a wine drinker? Do you enjoy? No, I'm no. not really a wine You're drinker. You're not. I'll but if some... I do, I like a sangria or something okay. like that. Sweet well, stuff. I'll have a glass of wine for you tonight <laughs> in celebration of your new album. We'll do a little toast. We'll toast. do a we toast, can toast in together. her honor today. <laughs> So, I have some, like, numbers here which are kind of impressive. First of all, hi, and you look beautiful as always. Thank you. You look beautiful and you look happy. Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank right? you so much. <laughs> she looked like she got a good skin regimen and everything. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he said you look like money. It's the water. All right, hear this, though. She got a 15-year career. She has sold over 23 million records. That's a big number. Videos Constant. viewed over 1.4 billion times. She got herself a Grammy. <laughs> she got herself a husband. <laughs> and she's a mom. Ha yeah, right? What is the most exciting thing of all of that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> all of it. All um, of it right? Yeah, my family, though. Yeah, that of is definitely my foundation. My husband and my kids, that makes my world go round. That's yeah. my why. Yeah. So I think that if I have that part all together, I feel like I can just flourish and everything else is all good. So I'm grateful. And thanks to my fans for all of that success. Yes. People see everything she's had, and they, she, she, they, she has this great life now, but it didn't come easy. There are challenges, if, I'm sure, in both personal and, and professional, in both sides. Yes. Uh, what do you think were some of the hardest things that you've had to get through to get to this point now? Oh, my gosh. Um, well, personally, I know I always talk about this. You know, um, one of the most uh, you know, challenging times in my life. Uh, was new for me was obviously being a single mom. That was um, something that I didn't expect to happen in my life at that time. And I kind of grew up with both mom and dad. That's what I knew. That was the vision that I saw. The mom and dad that makes baby is together with baby, and that's what it's supposed and then to be. They're together forever. Yeah, you yeah. know. And so, and that didn't happen. And that was a huge challenge for me because it was the unknown. Um, but it was a great challenge. You know, I think that all of and I think, but I know that all of that made me better. Yeah. I I became stronger through that experience. Um, um, and that is def that experience was. It felt like it was a scar at the time. It felt like it was ugly, and it wasn't the prettiest thing, you know, when I was going through it. But when I was able to stop and reflect and be in a better place, I realized. I smiled actually when I reflected back on life's challenges, and I was like, that was a beauty mark, you know. And when I look at my son, you know, or, or in that so situation, cute. you know, that I was like, this is he's so beautiful, and he's the sweetest gift that I could have ever, you know, hoped for at that time in my life when I was going through that. And then obviously in my career, I've had many different challenges. I've, it's been a roller coaster ride, um, you know, whether it's being in one label system and out, and then in another label system and out, and then in another label system. And people don't really realize that part, so they're like, oh my what gosh. are you doing? What's taking so long? What's yeah, happening? they do. Your fans yeah. get impatient. They're like, why she ain't dropping this song right now? <laughs> Why she? She just at home. She just wanna be staying at home. She don't wanna do. You know, I was getting slayed. You know, I'm like, 
But if y'all only knew what I was going through. But what is that? What what is that you're, that you're going through? Oh you my can't. gosh! Well, you ha waiting for opinions of you know label heads to tell you what's gonna work and what's not gonna work, or what they think is gonna work and what's not gonna work. Right. And my last label situation, there was a changing of the guards constantly. One CEO in, one CEO out. One head of one department in, one head of department out. And when you go through that process, it delays your process and you waste time. And it feels like time is going really slow, especially when you're an artist because you want to get your vision out. Like and you want to like express. Other videos and hearing I'm just other like music I'm ready. I got level up in the back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> And that really was my case. I sat on Level Up for a long time. Right. And I just kept saying, this is a song that I think is going to be the right way to start my project off. And I was so confident and so sure of it. But I had to wait and then for someone else new to come in and then hear their opinion. And then honestly, yeah. to, I heard about it later after the fact that when they would be in rooms, they would talk about me in a way that was like, well, we don't know if she can stream anymore. She, it was so many doubts. Oh. So I didn't know that was wait, happening. Wait, is this in person or like social not media? Not in person. This is social media. People are always no, so not nice social in media. person. It was like the back in the, in the behind office. the scenes in the offices. Like there was just all the conversations about can she, can she, she can't, I don't know, all the doubts, yeah. you know, the doubting. And so, you know, to hear about that was kind of like I smiled, you know, because I was always committed to my vision. Mm. And that's what gave me like the courage, you know, and the will to go after, not not hearing what they said. I heard about what they said later after, you know, level up was almost 300 plus million, you know, streams oh. later. <laughs> That was a little stunt. She stunted on you the know, desk now. And so then, like... No, I mean, it, because that's real. Yeah. You know, every time I would look up, you know, um, the placement would be incredible for the, you know, the streaming platforms. So. And it wasn't anything that I, you know, I worked hard for every bit of, I've been working hard for everything that I, that's been happening, but it was also my fans liking the music. And... Yeah. I'm so glad, you know, that I took that risk. I took that leap of faith. Mm. And I learned in that process, when I put out Level Up, you know, one of the things that I talk about how you level up, how you level up is to be your own boss. So I took my own advice. <laughs> I was like, I am not going to be at the mercy of someone else making decisions for me anymore. I want to take control because you, when I've waited, you know, in systems, it's hard. So what did you do? You threw it out there? You put it on yeah, yourself? Yeah, so what I did was I flew to New Zealand. I worked with Paris Goble. Um, <laughs> And she's a beast. I have to shout out my choreographer, Jamaica Craft, and my creative partner. Now she's a part of my BME team um, in a greater capacity. But she recommended for me to work with Paris on Level Up. I played her the record. She was like, I think the perfect person for this could be this girl named Paris. And so I flew to New Zealand. Um, me and my crew, it was a small bunch of us. That it was like a real style. Like, like a oh, long flight. It was flight. a long flight. <laughs> that like a long flight. It was flight. a long flight. Yeah. I literally landed, went straight into rehearsals. I had like 12 hours total to learn the routine. And and then we shot the video late at night, like probably, it was like eight o'clock start like, time. Level up. Exactly, level up. we was in there, uh, just <laughs> dancing for our lives. <laughs> we were dancing for our lives. And I was so committed to the visual because when Paris sent me the clip, I knew what I believed in about the song, but I saw the visual and she sent me like the rehearsals and I was like, this, re this dance is a hit. Like, that's how I saw it. I was like, I know what I think about this song, but that dancing is like, just gonna take it to another level. And so true indeed, we got into the video. She, we, she directed it, we created, we did some of the creative together, yeah. turned it around. Um, and then next thing you know, we, I put it out and literally within 24 hours, the level up challenges just started going crazy. <laughs> And it yeah. was the most incredible feeling because I remember when I played this video for people in the other system and they couldn't see it. But I was just like, this is really the power of believing. And it just felt right. And Isn't I also- Isn't that crazy? Like somebody else's negative th idea about something could literally shut you down if you let it. Oh my gosh, you know, it you can. Keep, yeah. that, that's huge. Believing in yourself is real, you know. Uh, it takes courage, you know. Yeah. Having courage is huge because a lot of times you're gonna hear more no's and you'll hear yeses in life, period. You're gonna yeah. face challenges, but what do we do when we face those challenges? So for me, I was like welcoming it. I was like, let's go. <laughs> and I also learned the power of my fans because what happened in the moment of me putting out that song showed me that can any other executive or any other person on this earth stop what's for me? No one can get in the way of the power of the connection that I have with my fans. And the truth is, is that you guys have lifted me up on this whole journey through yeah, it you. all. Yeah, you. You know, that's real. No, don't cry. <laughs> 
so sweet. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Did you I'm do a so level sweet. up challenge? You did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. So sweet. God bless but you. But that's baby. everything, that's right? Amazing. That's my reason. Like I love what I do, and that's so I sweet. couldn't do it without you guys supporting me. And the same feeling you have is the same feeling that I have, and I will continue to have because you have no I idea know you're how. Gonna make me cry. I know. You know why I'm crying. Well, you have no idea what it's like. I felt like this is another vulnerable moment, and I don't know, like, how is this going to go? I believe in it, but you never know until you put it out to the world. And that was like, you guys hugged me in the greatest way, more than you could even know, because I was taking a risk to go out there and put my song out by myself, mm. and the... You know, luckily the budget for the release wasn't that crazy, and this is me putting on my CEO hat. But it wasn't that. <laughs> it's not it about wasn't the that budget. <laughs> I know, it's but now I arts. have to wear that hat. No, I know. Because I know. it's like, oh, it's crazy town. I'm like artist, uh, A and R, CEO, mixing the records. It's all everything I'm sorry, going on. Your ring is real. Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> I need sunglasses. I should have wore shades today. You're so silly. No, that ring is really beautiful. Did he pick this ring out for you, or did yes. you? Did you? Or did you hint? Did you give a hint? Like, no, no, babe, my... That one three and three rows to the left. No, you're so like... silly. <laughs> I call it the ring of love. You know, um, that's it's... a lot of love in that <laughs> ring. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so sweet. <laughs> he said we need the prayer, we need oh. the prayer. Everybody wants the prayer, right? So wait, what is the story you of that? You guys are so sweet. The story honestly, is that you, you prayed on it, right? Like well, you... I never said that, but... <laughs> But I did do that. I did pray. <laughs> but the fans are so sweet. I think they've just been going on this ride with me, and you gotta think there has to be some kind of prayer. You know that brings you to the, you know, to the journey through the journey. What is the prayer? Is there? <laughs> what is the prayer? Is there a specific prayer, or do well, you? Well, you know, everybody I prays prayed, different. Everybody prays different. I prayed many times. Um, you know, I mean, I say everything that I prayed, but I can tell you, I was very specific at this point in my life. And first things first. First thing first is when I started to like get myself centered, I started to understand the power of loving myself firstly. Mm -hmm. And I had to like, you know, commit to that idea. Let me love myself. Let me get myself in the right place, you know, so that, you know, I can one, love myself. If I love myself right, then I believe I can get the love that I deserve. I'll have the love, I'll be, I'll be loved the way that I deserve. Mm -hmm. And then I can also be clear enough to love the way I'm supposed to love as well. Um, you know, as far as praying, I did have many times where I prayed, mm. you know, when you're in that space with just you and your baby, my baby boy, my little juicy man. <laughs> He's so cute. Forever juicy man. Gosh, when he gets older, he'll be like, mom, all right, lose that name. Uh, <laughs> or maybe not, it might work oh for him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, no, but when it's just me and him, you know, I'm very specific because it's not only about me, but it's also about him now. Mm. So I can't play around. There's no more experimenting. Like, I thought I was going to be single for, like, four years. I had that in my mind. I was like, and I don't know why that number was four years, but I was like, I was really ready to, like, take my time and be patient and let love really fall in place the right way because I desire something new. You know, I desire something different. I desire to, to be loved to the highest capacity. Mm. Um, you know, and to be loved the way that I felt I deserved. Um, so when I prayed, I'll tell you a few things that I did pray. Um, you know, I prayed for a God-fearing man. I prayed. Oh, God. I prayed for discernment. Mm. I prayed for wisdom, to really learn from the wisdom that I'm gaining through the experience that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. um, I prayed for a man that loved kids. Because obviously me having my son, that was, if you're going to love me, you got to love him. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I prayed for a man that was worldly as well, because I love to explore. So someone that's going to edify my world is important to me. I was ready to level up. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. know, but I can go on and on. I prayed many but different wow, things. Wow, but you got all the things you were praying on. Uh -huh. <laughs> God is amazing? good. You know, God is good. But I look God at is life. Good, but sometimes you pray for something and God be like, that's not really what you need. I'm going to give you what you really need. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But you, you know, know what? what? I did pray for what I needed to. Oh. 
That's good. That, that's important, right? Yeah. Like we can want love, but what does that mean? I think we have to be really specific about what we're attracting to our lives because love can look different in different scenarios yeah. and in different people. So we got to be, we got to be really, that's why I think you have to be in, you, sometimes you, you need specific. time by yourself to you get do. there. You yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And I had the best time at that moment just rolling with my son. I was like, let's go. Like, I gained 60 pounds. 60? I was like, Yeah. What? I was like, <laughs> yes. And Where? I said, I was, by Where? the way, I said I was never going to. Oh, it was all everywhere. <laughs> I didn't like the hips that came with that. <laughs> what was, <laughs> what, what were you eating? Everything. <laughs> I just, I, you know, at first I was like, I'm on like, you know, do good. Then all of a sudden, like five month mark, I was like, let's oh, just get God. it. Oreos, what's up? Cheeseburger, let's go. French fries. <laughs> like, I'm pregnant, so it's cool. It's all good. And then I go, I was like, I'm not going to do that again ever, 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 you know, when I have my next child. And then with Sienna, I gained 65 pounds. Yeah. Um, you know, but I guess my point is, is that when I was on that, where, where's I about to go with that? Um, when I gained my, um, you know, 60 pounds and it was just me and, little, you know, Juicy Man, I was like, mama got to do what mama got to do. I was like, I'm going to focus. I'm going to work. Part of loving myself was me also working out and taking care of myself. So I revved up my training plan, like, aggressively, met with my nutritionist. I just focused on me so heavy. I mm. focused on, like, really figuring out how I wanted to get better. Um, I had so much fun with with future he would sleep he was like my teddy bear so he slept with me way longer than they would suggest any parent to sleep with their babies <laughs> <laughs> we so went to funny. like 11 months you know because once russ came into our lives like okay we gotta switch this up like future <laughs> can't be sleeping in the bed all the time but russ was so patient he was oh. so sweet because the sweetest thing is and i won't get emotional but he <laughs> when he came into our, our lives right away changing diapers we were like easing future out of sleeping out of sleep train like into sleep training like we would have his this you know like you have a little pack and play you can move it to the room with you yeah. so he would sleep in the room with us for a while and then i'm like okay russ is so patient right now and this is great but i don't think this is a good idea for us to keep doing this for a long time <laughs> yeah. but we put our heads together you know and we we slept trained him together and that was hard a good seven days of him just crying, you know, before he's go to bed. Cause oh, I hate that process. Oh my god! You know what that is? <laughs> so you have to. So the, the the theory, the thinking is that you got to put the baby in the in their room, in there, and you let them cry. You let them and cry. You can't it. take them out no matter what. You just let them and keep it crying. And it hurts. And it takes. They say three days, but if you oh, break if you it, you do it. You have to start all oh, yeah, over exactly. again. And we can, but it's torturing. It is. And they go, Mommy. And they cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm hurt, my baby. <laughs> you know, you yeah, go through that. It's but horrible. Then it's, it's good, though. It's worth it because, gosh, I'll tell you, with two kids, it is the best thing that they know when they're supposed to go down for their naps. Future doesn't nap anymore, but he's such a good kid. And <laughs> go to it's bed. Good. Yeah, exactly. Get but in your it's, bed. It's this is good. mommy and daddy's bed. <laughs> you go to exactly. Your bed. But it's good, though, because they know, like, they know what to expect. We know what to expect. We get to have time for ourselves. Yeah. By the you way, know. happy early Mother's Day. Yay! Yay. <laughs> happy Mother's Day to any moms. Yeah, yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. All the moms. Yeah. <laughs> I love that you share that story because people think, you know, they only see pieces. Yeah. And don't really understand the hard times and the times. Oh, you're... my gosh. With yeah. the people, because I know you have a, a pretty strong girl crew. Like, you have yeah. great friends. So my add girl that girl gang. Hey, girl gang, right? Hey. My girl gang lit. Hey. Were they, <laughs> were they a big part of that time? Oh of my getting gosh. you through that time? Yeah. Huge, huge. So we have, her girl crew is pretty impressive, by the way. So <laughs> Kelly Rowland and Lala <laughs> and Severina Williams. And who, who I have my is? best friend, Yolanda Frederick. She's my makeup artist. Hi, Yolanda. She's somewhere around she's here. She's hot. Hi, she's Yolanda. Like, she's way over Oh, she's cute. Hi. <laughs> so I've known Yoli since I was 16 years old. Mm. But my, my friends, you know, have lifted me up at some of the most crucial times. They've also celebrated me with me at some of the most beautiful times. But I will say there is no better, you know, feeling and sense of comfort when you have your friends by your side. Like, you know, girl gang is real, right? That's yeah. the song, you know, girl gang. That is real. We need a place to go to because I really think that when we're going through tough times, if we don't have a place that if we don't have outlets, we will explode. 
What was the best thing that they did for you? Is there an advice or just a you moment? You know, just that being they, there yeah. and listening to me tell them the story in different ways over and over <laughs> and over. <laughs> and not telling me what I should do, but just being there and giving me wise advice, you know. Because I believe you can't really, you shouldn't tell your friends what to do. They've got to go on their own kind of roller coaster themselves. But you do need to give them some wise words, you know, because that's the point of being friends. And you can't just be like, yeah, girl, jump off, clip, girl, go do. You can't be like, you know, do that. But you got to be there. You got to be. <laughs> so funny. You know what I mean, right? You can't send them just, you know, off the ledge, you know, down the wrong, you know, path. If, they're, if it's getting too crazy, then you got to try. You got to you have to jump on in and debo that thing yeah. and try to save your friend, you know. But my friends, they've just been there to be good ears you yeah. know um it's yeah. hard when you see when you grow up and you like you were saying you see one thing you see you it's your it becomes your idea of what life is supposed to be like your mother and father get together they have a yeah. baby they stay together forever so you having that in your head the whole time and then that being rocked that like that that's that's like was be a little, real because that that's what i knew and yeah. then also when you're living your life in front of the world you know you kind of feel like like a failure like i feel like Oh, Lord, what they going to say about me now? Yeah, but Lord, what? About no, to go, you can't let people think that. Girl. No, but I mean, you know, but it's not so much about what people think, but that does, that adds more but how onto did you, the... Would you say that there's things that you did or choices you made that contributed to, you know, being in bad places? And of course oh, you absolutely. Learned. But yeah. that's why I had to like really be specific when I was like looking forward, you know, and there's a moment of reflection when you look in the mirror and you have to say, okay, what am I doing that's like... It's something I'm doing that's like consistent, and I need what to switch that? that. Did you yeah. figure out what that was? Oh, I, I definitely figured out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> is it share worthy or, oh. or, you, or not yet? Yeah, not not you. We can talk about it at a, another time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know, you just—it's like doing the same thing over and over is insanity, right? The same thing is, you know, the crazy, the bad stuff yeah. over and over. It's just, yeah. He said the it's cycle. cycle. <laughs> you know, if you if you keep running into a roadblock or like the wall, at some point in time, you gotta go like, okay, something has got to be a little different here. Like I've got to do something different. Like, you know what I mean? You, I that's do. just real. Everybody's right? been there, by the way. And yeah. especially when you want to grow, yeah. right? You got, and you got to be real with yourself. Like, I was really real with myself, but I think it's also because I was ready to be in a certain place. Because yeah. sometimes we're not ready for where, we, where we're supposed to be. We're not ready where we're about to, ready for where we're about to go. Yeah. I was so ready. Like, I remember one time praying. Because on the song, I love myself. Yeah, the opening lines. But I just remember feeling it over my body. Like, to the point to where it's right now, when I'm talking to you, it's like... It's coming through me. Like, mm. I just, it was like almost having goosebumps. Like, I just knew, like, I could taste literally on my, like, it's the power of manifestation. Like, you can taste where you're about to go. You can taste what you want. You can taste what you need. You can taste what you deserve. Like, and you don't like the taste of what's not right. Like, you can feel it through your body. So for me, I was committed. Like, it was like, no more of the same habits. Or no more of this feeling again. Like, it is not fun. I mean, what? It's not fun doing all that. Like, <laughs> that's not a good ah, time. That's not healthy. And you know what the biggest thing I will say for me? is I am afraid of wasting my life. I am afraid of wasting my life. That's like, even in the label scenario, like I just felt if I don't start moving forward, these great records that I have, they'll never see the light of day. And I work too hard, yeah. you know, to create this stuff, you know, for life. I work too hard. I'm not trying to keep running in circles. Like, I, I'm, and I, you know what, as women in particular, because, you know, the system with men, like, I, not to sound crazy, but, you know, Let it go. you can get Tell them, it. you can get Tell them. It. You can get them young things, all it don't matter. You can be 80 with the 21, or, you know. Not, <laughs> for girls, it changes for us. And, you know, it's like, for me, it's like, look, and I'm going, I'm going to be hot at 80 now. Don't get twisted. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just afraid of wasting life. Like, life is so precious. And it's like, I want to maximize life. And I want someone that wants to maximize life with me. Like, that's what I was feeling. I it's like, you just want it. You can feel it can through I, your body. Can I ask you one question then? So yes. when you have all this and you know it's coming, you know what you want, you do this work, and then, like, um, the, car the curtain opens and Russell's standing there. <laughs> Like, do you know right away, or oh, yeah. does it take time? Oh, no, no. You, you know right away. <laughs> you know right away. I remember looking at my husband 
the first night we met, and we both <laughs> had the same, it was like a movie. When we both, when we talk about our story back to each other, yeah. we both had the same feelings, you know, in different ways because it was different scenarios. But we both talked about it, and it was like a movie moment, like, did that just happen? <laughs> And it was like, I just, it was a calm feeling all over my body. And I also remember looking at him and I thought he was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And then, and I couldn't sometimes hear half of what he was saying because I thought he was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, whew, going over my head. I, focus, focus, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when you know, you know, we say yeah. that. And we also talk about being equally yoked. It's just light, you know. When it's right, it's, it's light, it's easy. Even in the toughest times, and I'm learning this, like, I was it's gonna say, easy. It doesn't, just because it's right doesn't mean it's always easy, Oh, right? yeah, no. no yeah, we, yeah. we definitely have moments where we'd be like, he thinks blue, I think red, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's just real, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But when you're on the same page, you share the same vision, you have the same goals, the same passions, and communication. Yeah. Communication is huge. Like, if we can't communicate, we can't get anywhere. And we're really big on that. And even, like, the things that we just may not want to communicate about, we do it. Yeah. And we figure it out. And it's just easier. It's just easy. Because you're, like, morally grounded in the same type of way. We probably. have the same yeah. understandings yeah. pretty much with mostly everything. Yeah. So then you also don't feel like you're, like, compromising yourself either. Like, you don't feel like you don't fit in in certain situations because you're, like, yeah. on the same page yeah. like it's just and and no one's making you feel like uncomfortable either because you're on the same page everybody's gonna say those prayers tonight I guess, <laughs> right? say them prayers. all i have to say is be specific okay be specific be very specific okay. know what you want know yourself know what you want and know what you don't want and love yourself, and love yourself. Yes. yes ma'am yes sir <laughs> <laughs> i love y'all by the way thank you for being here <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play uh, some of the music because we Yay! have seven, her seventh album. Ah, how does that feel today to you? This you feels feel amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, it's crazy because it's like I can't say it's necessarily like having a physically having a baby, but this is special moments when you know, as an artist, you get a chance to share your vision and exactly how you envision it. Because I would tell you guys, it's been a long time since I've been able to do this this way. My last two albums was a bit of a challenge for me. I wasn't able to do that. I didn't want my album to come out at one point in time. But but I'm still proud. No, I, I'm, I'm with you now. I'm proud of the work. But I'm just saying, it feels good to be able to Process, share my vision right? exactly how yeah. I, yeah, you know, and to feel the love from you guys. I can't, I can't put it into words. I really can't because it's just a continual reminder of like not giving up. And once again, the power of my connection with my fans. Like, that's so real. Yeah. Today, I woke up and I had the number one R&B album. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did that. God Wait. is good. And what? I was going to say, we have to talk about Beauty Mark because we're going to play the video. Yeah. You see it? We're going to watch it together. We're going to watch it together. Yes. But give me like, give me the background of this and how this came to so be. So Beauty Marks is a title track. Obviously, it's also my company name, Beauty Marks Entertainment. Um, so Beauty Marks just really represents a very special time in my life and in my career. And in particular, with this video, I directed this video. Um, <laughs> she said, "Okay, she said, director." director. <laughs> um, and it was, uh, hey, they're so good. They know all the music already. But and let her talk, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was produced by my company and also West to East Empire as well, um, and which is my husband's company. And um, but I'm really proud of this. I don't know why it's so cute when you say my husband. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I don't know why. And at the beginning, it was like, oh, my husband. I'm like, OK, I got to get used to this. But I love saying it, my husband. Um, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Um, OK, so basically with this video, though, um, it, it's probably by far the most vulnerable moment of my career, I feel. Mm. And also my life, because this is real life, right? right? Um, is this real was, footage that we in, yes, in the video? Yes, it's real footage. From the wedding? It, yeah, from my wedding and my delivery. Yes. yes. But I felt it was only right to share this footage in this song because this song really speaks to my journey mm -hmm. and the idea of how all the scars you, you get from the obstacles you face in life are truly your beauty marks. And I say a line in the song, you know, baby, when you take my hand, you show me that my scars are beauty marks. So that goes all the way back to the early days, you know, through now. But even, you know, I had this title sitting in my note um, app for a long time. I had beauty marks for a while because 
even in my own self-reflections, I would look at life, like I said to you guys, you know, whether it was single mom times or whether it was tough times in general, I would look and I would smile and say, oh, those are my beauty marks. Like, I refuse to look at the moments that were tough and rough in my life as being bad moments because that's a negative weight that you'll carry with yourself. So I decided to say those are my beauty marks. Like, I decided to put positive affirmations on those experiences. So the title in my note, I, note app for a long time, and then with this song, when I sat down with Skylar Gray, which, by the way, I had just had Sienna. Yeah, shout out to Skylar Gray. Um, <laughs> I had just given birth to Sienna probably like a few weeks before this session. I was breastfeeding in my session with her, literally like talking to her and pumping at the same time. Um, and we were just talking through the title and what I wanted to achieve with the record. So the first day she and I got together, we just talked. We didn't even write anything. Wow. And then the second day we got together, everything flowed. Skyla came back in with some ideas that we both started writing together. And she actually produced the track as well. Um, but this was a song I had been wanting to make for a long time. And again, you know, the song, I just felt like the best way to tell the story was through the video. And so, yeah, I shared some very special moments. And um, we're gonna watch I'm excited. And we're yeah, gonna let's watch, watch it. Now. it. <laughs> Let it go. Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. And love endures all things. Love is consuming. And when you read that, you must ask yourself, how are we going to love all of each other all the time? Because that's actually what the Bible narrative proposes. There's only one way, and that is to connect your love for each other to the love that God has for each of you and now both of you together.
guys got it together? Oh, so pretty. Now, what's our sign? So pretty. 19 out of 3. So pretty. 19 out of 3. So pretty. 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 You guys are gonna have to pull it together, okay? Everybody gonna pull it together. So sweet. <laughs> I I've mean, cried so many times watching. Do you cry <laughs> still watching that? I do. I cried this morning watching it. Piece of <laughs> How uh, could you not? That's like the best parts of your life, oh all in gosh. one, right? I just reflect, you know, and like you say, how things can come together in, in a way that seems perfectly. It just also makes me reflect on the journey because it wasn't necessarily the easiest road to this point. You know, and so it's just amazing. And when I look on that video, I, I just think, I think, you know, that that man got my back. Yeah. And it feels different, you know. Um, that man, he's always there for me. Like, it's crazy. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, this morning I got surprised when I was on The View and... Yeah. I hate to. <laughs> what happened? I didn't see it. <laughs> he just sent a video of sweet words, you know, and it was also CNN Future, but it's not ever a moment where he won't pause to, like, make sure I'm good, you know, or it can be creative, you know, advice, you know, whatever. He's just there for me. What did he say and when he saw that? Good. Oh, he was really happy. Um, he was really proud. I'm trying to think. What did he say when he saw that? Did he cry? He cried. No, did he? He didn't <laughs> cry. Gosh, I can't remember the exact words that he said. He didn't cry. He's pretty tough, but <laughs> um, I, if I can recall, I mean, obviously it was very special to him, yeah. and and he 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 talked about how special it was too, and you it know he was also like I say I would share some of the footage, and he was also part of like you know going through some of the moments with me, and you know because it's such personal. You know, footage, footage of ours. Yeah, so it was beautifully shot. The wedding. Yay! Wow! Shout out to the team. I that saw was there Lala and that Kelly stuff. in the back looking yeah, beautiful. Yeah, the girl gang. And I saw the little girl gang. Which, in by the, the way, I just want to thank all my bridesmaids because those girls were there obviously for a special day in my life, but also those are the girls that were lifting me up. You know, through my yeah. toughest time. So yeah. It's so sweet too, because it's not like because you were talking about Russell doing be always being there for you and doing that on the view today. It's not like he's sitting home 
with nothing to <laughs> <No>. do. <laughs> it's not like he oh, no, no. doesn't have a busy life of his own too. Yes. But the fact that you both make time to yeah, that's to be there that's for each key. Other, that's that's balance mm -hmm. in life. You know, I'm really starting to understand. Not starting to, but I'm really understanding like how you gotta like you gotta make sure you're living underneath it all. You know, we're very blessed. You know, and we both acknowledge that. And I think to who much is given, much is required. But also, too, it's just healthy to make sure you're, like, living. Like, just whether it's taking our kids to school together. Or I, this week, I start off the promo week, and then I flew back home just so I could spend a day and a half with my family. Yeah. And take the kids to school. And we took them to Sienna's first ballet class. Aww. And then Ooh, Future is she had, nice? She's probably nice. She was in the, She was so <laughs> cute. <laughs> she's probably nice. Sienna is. She does have a little pocket. She can, like, repeat moves already. Of course she But does. she also is kind of, like, going to her own little, like, thing. You know, she was like... Everybody's going this way. I'm going to go to the right, you know, at some moments. But it's also because it was new to her. But yeah. she really liked it. That's so cute. And Future did baseball. We took them to baseball practice together, which was fun. And then the next day, I made sure we had dentist scheduled before I left. Because I've never missed a dentist appointment of theirs. And I like the dentist moments what? together. It's silly. It's simple. But it's like, I just love those moments, you yeah. know. But my point, uh, point is, is that, you know, it's family, you know, us, you know. It, it's to important there. to live. Yeah, because... Those are things that make me feel normal because the life that I live is a bit abnormal at times, and that's just the truth of it. But it feels so good to, like, be Go humbled. Go to the dentist. Yes. <laughs> the kids, they don't care nothing about no what else do you, Sierra do you, do the artist. Other like, this mama. Things? Like, do you go to the supermarket? We do. We no, go shopping. And we have times. We haven't done this in a while. But, like, we... For example, one night we got to make sushi from scratch together, which I think I share that. He surprised me. It was like a date night for my birthday, I think it was. But we like simple things. Like, we like cooking together. He can make some good ribs. I like making mac and cheese. You know, we take a little long when we cook. Uh, or, <laughs> you know, but it's fun, though. I know I'm a Southern girl. But, you know, we like doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, it's just... And then you probably have to support him the same way he has to support oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Like, I, read, I, I heard or read somewhere that you fall asleep watching ESPN. Is that true? No, that's not true. I said, well, because it was on the internet, no, you know, I assumed no. it was true. No, listen. <laughs> I mean, now, if it's like late, late night, you know, and we're trying to watch some Game of Thrones, sometimes we both fall asleep. But, you know, because we have Don't the same series. Don't spoil anything. Like, I'm, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm not behind. saying anything. I'm way, way, way behind. <laughs> no, but, I mean, you know, we both go the same distance for each other, you know, and, and that's what it's about. Like I say to you, I'll get on the plane plane for a day and a half it's a six hour flight going back to Seattle from here but it's worth it it makes me feel balanced and I want to mm. be there the same way that he is for me and I love it I love being a wife I love being a mom I love also being a boss lady <laughs> <laughs> okay boss. I love doing it all you know it's fun I'm grateful for my life even on the toughest times I'm still grateful because they make me who I am <laughs> we're gonna uh we're gonna talk about some of the oh by the way just one more thing about that video your dad crying in the video is... Yes. They yes. must be so happy, right? Your parents? So happy and so proud. Do they, are they like... My mom is definitely really proud. My dad is proud, but you know women, you know, mama's... Mm-hmm. I, I done had some moments in my life, my mom be like, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom is very happy and they love him to death. That's yeah. great. Mom and dad. Okay, so we are... Let's talk about I Love Myself. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song. Yeah, you know, you took a minute to yeah. get there. And, and Macklemore is on it. Yeah. How Teacher that Macklemore. Happen? So Macklemore, obviously, we're all in the Pacific Northwest. We're in Seattle together. Mm -hmm. Macklemore is darning like my brother this, at this point. Both of our brothers at this point. Um, both of ours, our brother. Yeah, I'm saying it right. Uh, but <laughs> um, I Love Myself was just a song when I was thinking about it. Um, I, I just felt like it was just a he was going to be the perfect person on it because um, I thought it was dope that he's a dad and he's also a male, so he gets to speak from that perspective. There's something really cool about hearing a guy talk about the power of, like, self-love and also understanding the power of a woman loving herself mm. and respecting that. Yeah. And then also, like, in his case, he has a daughter. So I just thought he was going to drop the right kind of gems on this record, and that was important to me that the message was right, delivered right. So he literally went in and just knocked it out. And... Um, yeah, this song is produced by my friend Benny Cassette. I wrote it with Kim Perry from the band Perry. Um, and gosh, I got to get the other girl's name. I'm drawing a blink right now. I'll get it because uh, I want to make sure I shout her out right now. We have now. a second. We'll play the song. We'll shout her out after yeah, the song. Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. get a little bit of that. Awesome. The best thing I could ever do for me is love myself. I was sitting on the bed in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not making 
love myself I'm never gonna fall Cause I love myself Damn right, yeah, I love myself And I can have it all Cause I love myself Now, if loving myself's a job Am I doing it? Art's a weapon of resistance Am I using it? I got two girls, how do I get through to them? Don't want the gram telling my daughters what beauty is. Nah, I ain't raising princesses, I'm raising warriors. Self-love is a fight, keep some extra in the holster. My children, I'm trying to teach them to love themselves. But I can't expect it if I haven't accepted myself. See, if dad isn't sober, and dad isn't honest, and dad can't control it, and dad's got these problems. If dad is so selfish, and dad is lying to mama, then that is going to have an impact on dad's daughters. If I'm not right with me, how can I pass it on? I got a path today, I know, and I can knock it off. And if I'm blinded by the light, then I can't walk with God. Don't want to realize later he was with me all along, loving me. Me, being free, bring me peace, leave these wings, shine a fly to my peak. I reside out of eye, the divine in my reach as I strive and I seek. Live light, proceed, love me for me at ease. It's alright, I've been to the bottom. Watching everybody in the audience love that you're so It's funny. so good. It's so, it's, it's so cute. I can feel it. We're gonna play a couple of songs and we're gonna talk about them. But I know that they, I, I know you guys had a couple of questions and it's just like kind of not really planned. But um, so please, we're live. You know what I mean? Don't make me have to ch y yoke anybody up or nothing. <laughs> you want to start over there? Don't get crazy. <laughs> she said, "Don't get crazy." Hi, my love. What is your name and where are you from? Christine, I'm from the Bronx. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hey. So, um, goodies dropped when I was in freshman year in high school. So, oh. I mean, like, you are just phenomenal. When people talk about um, female empowerment and standing up for yourself, that has been your track record from beginning all the way up to. And I really appreciate you. Um, my question is, you talked about um, being in the industry and not having the support that you needed outside of prayer, like how did you really muster up the strength to really keep pulling, pushing forward? Uh, well, my passion is what drives me. My passion, you know, because I love what I do and I believe in it, I'm committed to it. So that means that when the times get tough, I'm going to push through it. But it's my passion that gives me will, that gives me courage. Um, that gives me drive, you know? And so I just dig deep, dig deep, and be like, let's go. Because one thing for me is, is if you quit, then that's failing, right? And I refuse to quit. So maybe I learned something else different, or maybe I learned a different path I'm supposed to go on um, by pushing forward. But the one thing I refuse to do is quit. Yeah. Hi, you. Hey, hey. I hope you remember me. Uh, of course, I'm he's Angie. Why to die, oh, to Angie. Angie. <laughs> but, um, honestly, I don't really have a question. I just honestly want to say, like, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, Aww. I've been riding, I've been riding strong since 2004, and like, did you I don't, do a I don't, level up challenge? I don't, of course, of okay. course. Okay. I don't think, I don't think people understand. Like, like I've been there to see the letdowns and the get-ups and the letdowns and the get-ups and the letdowns and the get-ups. And she truly makes me believe, like, if you genuinely believe in yourself, mm -hmm. like, you're going to be turned down all the time. But if you truly believe in yourself, you could achieve anything you want. And she's, she's shown it by example. Like, yeah. I've been to every New York event I could get to. Yes. And yeah. for every album, and she's always, like, <laughs> been the same great energy and positivity mm -hmm. and, like, she just... She make me feel like it's okay to be genuinely happy. 
Oh, yeah. And I yeah. appreciate that. I love you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. That's I'm interesting what he said, you. too, because you got to want, like he said, it's okay to be happy. Sometimes people don't want to be happy. Oh, some yeah. People like, some people like being in some dysfunction, and they like the drama oh, yeah. of the back and forth. Or and sometimes the, you kind of yeah. try to play down your happiness because you feel like, am I like, you Annoying know, too happy? Yeah, too happy. Like, <laughs> nah, we're going to be happy now. <laughs> We gonna be smiling now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to you in a second. I know we'll, we'll go back to an, one more question out there in a second, but I do want to get to Girl Gang because hey, <laughs> featuring. Yeah. I always say Kelly is like one of the sweetest human beings walking the planet Earth. She is the sweetest soul, yeah, and she is another boss lady mama that is on her grind, and we've both watched each other go through the journey of parenthood, yeah. and we've been able to share really cool stories with each other on our adventures of mommyhood and just life in general, and she is the sweetest soul, and I just love her tone. I think her tone is just so special. She's got so much sauce dripping all over her. Like <laughs> She's just super dope, Yeah, you know? And so what I loved about this song is, you know, it's, it's called Girl Gang, but when I called on my friend, like my true friend, she was there for me to join me on this record. And there's something really sweet about us truly being like close friends, mm -hmm. doing a song together, you know? Dope. It just feels right and it feels good. And this beat goes so hard though. It goes <laughs> hard. <laughs> all right, let's get it, this is Girl Gang. Out so Drop the coop, caught the you, brought the troop out. Yeah, with the new style. We the ones, we the ones they want you about. We about to shut it down. Somebody pour the champagne. Yeah, that's just our campaign. Everything we do, we do it big. Pull up with the you. Girls just wanna have fun, or they wanna have fun. Uh, Taking up revenue. Yeah. You try to hit it, no commitment time. Hell no. Mm -hmm. He asked your favorite position, tell him CEO. Somebody pour the champagne. Yeah, that's just a campaign. Everything we do, we do it big. Big, big, big. Riding on our own way. Whipping in our own lane. Ain't nobody messing with my clique. Fire. That thing right there, jam. That thing right there. That thing right there, pretty good. That's for the girls to turn all the way up to. And, and he said that no, boy. Listen, listen, too. listen, listen. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm right there with you. Correction. Listen, thing. everybody's included now. I know the fellas gonna like to watch the girls turn up to it too. Yeah. You know. Wait. Um, and a, a video for that would be. I'm so crazy. So I'm gonna go call the CEO of Beauty Marks and let her know we need to do it. <laughs> <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> I'll be next to talking about budgets about this video. But, uh, <laughs> but shout I'm out sure to Kelly will do it for the low low. Uh <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> your friend. Girl gay. It's your girl gay. By the way, shout out to Janine the Machine, this phenomenal, amazing young girl who I also co-wrote this record with. She's just amazing. I want to shout her out. All right, good. Yeah. All right. We I love this record. We have a couple more songs to get through, but I, I'm going to get to two more. I'm going to get to this one right here, because, I mean, you was crying. I, I can't. I, you know what I mean? And he and, has his name. I, Carved in his he got, oh hair. Oh my God! He has her name. I um, love that. I've Shanks. never seen that before. So in his head. My name's Indigo. Um, Hi, Indigo. I first met you in LA at the Turn Up for Change thing. Hey. 
And yes. I got a picture with you, and you shouted me out on Instagram. So good, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh my so gosh. So I've been up since early this morning. I've also been a fan since 2004. I don't really have any questions. I don't have any doubts. What? I don't have, I don't <laughs> no have, questions, no doubts. All I want to know, all I want to know is what I can expect what next I can expect from you because it's all been great. Oh, Everything that's you've so ever good. done. I don't have any. Praise the <laughs> Lord. <laughs> My fans are happy. Woo, woo, I have woo. never heard that. I have never heard somebody say, I don't have any questions. I, I don't, don't have, have any, any doubts. doubts. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> well, what's next for me is, as you guys know, Thinking About You is my current single that's at radio. And we are now about to enter top 40, which is great. And um, Wow. Yeah, so I'm really proud of this. And I'm on this record. And um, this is the single at this moment that I'm really, really proud of. I really believe in this record. Um, and there's a lot of fun stuff. As you guys know, I'm performing on Jimmy Kimmel next week. Hey. Um, hey. <laughs> Which, by the way, thank you to the fans because my uh, park is now sold out for Jimmy Kimmel, so thank you guys. That will be there. And then I'm also going to be performing on the Good Morning America Summer Concert Series here in New York. Okay. Is that your so, New York accent? Yeah, that's, you know. <laughs> I be talking like this, like... Stop it! Exactly. Like what? Get money. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing. Uh, anyway. It's so, not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not bad, right? It's not so, terrible. OK, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, but yeah, and more videos. I, I hear you guys loud and clear. So I do think Girl Gang is incredible. It so, is you pretty know, You never know what's, you know, what's going to be in store for you. I'm going to, um, we're going to get to you in one second, I promise, sweetie. But I'm going to get to the next song. We're going to do like one it. more song. Uh, well, two more songs. We're going to do set. How you know I was going to do set? Hey, hey. That's my song, though. Tell me about it, mama. Gosh, you know what? I can't lie. It feels so good when you listen to your songs and you just get lost in it like it's not yours. I love this song. I wrote this with my friend Teron from Rock City, who I also wrote Level Up with, um, produced by this incredible young producer named Dallas. Um, and this, when I heard the beat, it was just so like, ugh, so mean. And then I hit up Tehran. I let Tehran kind of flow with it. And then he said, like, I hustle till I pass out, babe. Treat all my shoeboxes like the bank now. Guess you can say that I'm the man. Wow. Woo! Woo! Hee! Hee! That song is so <laughs> turned up. <laughs> and I put that on my set. On my set, set. On my, on my, on my set, we set. I just love how this song makes Woo! me feel. Like, the beat's so hard. Like, and I got something really cool planned for y'all with this record, so. I'm excited. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> I just love this record. This I, is my jam. Let's play the song, man. All I know is hustle. I put that on my set. The hustle till I pass out. Treat all my shoe boxes like the bank now. Guess you can say that I'm the man. Wow. On that big boss level, and I put that on my set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set, we sit. On my set, on my, on my, on my set, we sit, sit. I can smell your hate from about a mile away. You mad that I just won't calm down, yeah. I can see the look that's written on your face. Wonder how I still fit this crown. You hating, but you watching, though. I guess you're kind of mad that I'm unstoppable. You count me out, the counters count me in. Looks like I'm putting up another win again. Cause I hustle till I pass. Treat all my shoe boxes like the bank. Guess you can say that I'm the man. Yes, I am the man. On that big boss level, and I put that on my set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. On my set. On my, on my, on my set. We set. I go too hard, grind for my team. Been back since that. I run teams, no cap. Okay. 
funny. That's my jam. Why are they doing all the choreography? I'm saying. Even, like, why are they just know? They feel it. They like it. They put that on their set. Yeah. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> just make me feel so, uh, like, mm, move out the way. Get out the way. I'm coming through. <laughs> The C Squad is here. <laughs> All right. Um, hi over there. Hi. Gonna get you a mic so you can ask your question. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi. My name is Tatiana. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Um, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Do you uh, hate that song or do you love that song? Um, I, I met said Tatiana. I, I didn't say yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I met you so many years ago when uh, the Evolution album came out, and I, we were, my best friend and I, we skipped school. <laughs> we came to TRL, we couldn't, we couldn't get in, but we, we was outside like waving, and you passed by, you were, you were so nice, and then we rushed over to Best Buy to meet you, and you were so sweet, just the greatest energy ever, I just wanna say that. And you still have that, and I'm so thankful that you never switched up, like, just saying that. But my question is to you, I have like a two-part question. My question is, the first uh, part is, what was the inspiration behind the album cover? Because it's very iconic and creative. It's giving me a little Grace Jones vibes, like, yes. So how did you well, go and get that? And my second question would be part two is, is there any more future collaborations with Janet Jackson? Well, <laughs> hey. first part on the album artwork, um, I, I would, body paint was one of the setups that we had. And it was just like art, you know, to do the body paint. And there's something kind of cool about the whole concept of beauty marks and just being stripped down. So it wasn't so much about wardrobe and versus me just being bare in this particular photo, there was also an artistic expression through it. And it was just really a creative, um, you know, idea that I really wanted to do. Um, and also Sasha and Samsonova. And bananas, so oh, why thank not? you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if that's appropriate. But you're so I mean, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Samsonova, um, the photographer, did a phenomenal job also with like, you know, sharing some really cool ideas. And I just love the body paint ideas. So it was just really me having fun and experimenting. But it's also something really cool about the stripped downness of it all and it not being about the clothing and all that stuff, which I kind of kept a lot of the clothing in this packaging very minimal, you know, minimalistic. You're welcome. Because <laughs> <laughs> And I, I kept it very minimalistic, kind of intentionally, because it wasn't so much about the clothes wearing me, you know? Um, and it was kind of running along with the theme of beauty marks, like just being more stripped down, but still being creative. Um, thank you. And then, as far as Janet goes, that is my girl. Um, she is a big sister to me, and it's quite surreal sometimes to know that she really is, you know, someone that's now in my life, someone who I really respected. Um, you know, and really, I really appreciate what she's done for music. Um, as far as us doing a song together, I do think that would be really cool. Um, however, it's not something that I'm pressing, to be honest with you. You know, I really enjoy and love our friendship. And if that moment ever happened, it'd be really cool, but it would probably be an organic thing and it would just have to happen that way. Um, but yeah, I mean, but I love Jay. I love JJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How could you not? And you could see your influence. You could see her influence on you too, right? And you've always been. Yeah. Always been well, open you know, it's so funny because I think sometimes the comparisons are inevitable because we're just naturally similar. Like, yeah. oftentimes I try to make sure I run a left direction because I know it's going to naturally happen, but not in, in a bad way. It's just I want to continue to create my own identity. Right. You know, so I do try to challenge myself, and then sometimes it's just things where it just naturally happens, and it's just kind of what it is. And I did grow up loving Jan, and I grew up loving her brother as well, loving Michael. Um, you know, I think they're two of the most influential artists in the history of music culture. And for me, being an artist that dances, it's inevitable for me to, like, you know, for you, for there, for me to not... Um, Gosh, what am I trying to say here? Um, it's just what it is, you know, because it's a part of, yeah, it's a part of who I am. And they are the few references, the few references of their kind that have done it in the way that they've done it, you know. And so that's just what it is, you know, and it's respect for me, you know. And then I always look at people that, like, 
they studied, you know, or people that they admired, or like Paula Abdul's of the world, or Fred Astaire, you know, or James Brown, like, you know, and so that studying is real to me. Um, but we do get the comparison some time, and I will tell you, I always try to make sure I'm like, you know, I want to create my own lane for myself, but I do appreciate the comparisons because I really respect her. Yeah, but if you have to be compared to somebody, I mean. JJ is a great that comparison. Is a good one. <laughs> okay, so trust myself. Hey. This is all going to be our last song, guys. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sad. But, one more what? Oh, yeah. Do we have, I don't think we're playing none, are we? Listen, we are on a limited time slot right here. But I like how you know, is, though. The good news is after this, you can guys go listen Get to the, the whole album. album. You can go hey. listen to the Oh, you already yes. did? All right. All right. He was like, we did already. Let him know. <laughs> So what do you want to tell us about Trust, Trust Myself? Trust Myself is um, a song that was, again, I wrote it with Janine the Machine as well. Um, and she produced this record. Uh, if I'm, I think I'm saying it right here. Um, but she's phenomenal. This girl is, like, just really dope and fresh. She's from Atlanta. Um, but this song is super, like, sexy, sweet, flirtatious. I can't trust myself when I'm around you because it's just like I get this feeling that comes over me and it's like, ooh, you know, it just feels good, but it's like, ooh, you know, it's it's all that. I don't know exactly what that means, but, you know. We get it. I mean, oh, you we know. know. He said we know. You know. So, um, you know, Trust Myself um, is a song that's one of my favorites on this album. It just... It feels like it just oozes, it all, oozes all over you, like the way the beat feels, the sweetness of it. It's just a good vibe. Like, it just <laughs> felt good to me when I heard the track. Um, yeah, and so I guess let's, so let's listen play to it. it. Yeah. Let's play it, baby. So let my lips say what they want to say. And let my hips move how they want to move. And let my hands do what they want to do. I don't trust myself around you. with everybody's ability to learn words so fast. <laughs> like all the songs that we played tonight, everybody knew all the words already. They own it. The C Squad is lit. They own it. You guys are so amazing. Thank you for joining us today, really, all of you. Thank you, guys. And thank you, my love, for being so honest and open and for sharing this of day course. with us. And congratulations to you. Thank you so for much. Every on everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And what did people need to know? I mean, of course, get the album, but yes, it's, it's like album. touring going to happen and all yes, that? Yes, I'm actually working on touring plans, and I will be announcing that soon. Okay, great. So, yes, I'm on it all for you guys. You know, you guys used to always say you hate when I would say stay tuned, but... <laughs> But now I can confidently uh, say, stay tuned, because <laughs> BME is running this thing, so stay tuned. Yeah. And we're out of time, so stay tuned. Love and you guys. Please, everybody, make some noise for Sierra. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>